All right, Moloch is the new Shutter original that dropped today along with the This Is Guar documentary, oh, that's cool which I thought was next week, today. but I, I guess it was today. And uh, I wanted to watch that at some point, but we picked this one instead, and I'm glad that we did, and so are you. Yes. So what is this movie about, Kaylee? You want me to read this now? Sure. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I don't know how to say her name. Beatrick? Beatrick? <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> I don't remember I, how they pronounce it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Lives at the edge of a peat bog in the north of the Netherlands. When she and her family are attacked by a random stranger one night, Beatrick sets out to find an explanation. The more she digs, the more she becomes convinced that she is being hunted by something ancient. This is a very slow burn, atmospheric film that, you know, it kind of starts to play with folklore a little bit and this mm -hmm. small town community and the, um, like superstitions that are, are, are kind of bred by that setting, mm -hmm. um, little small towns with a lot of history and, um, you know, they start to believe in all these stories of the past, passed down from generation to generation and so it kind of starts to seep in and almost become a form of mass hysteria in a way. Um, and this film succeeds really well in building atmosphere. Uh, I would say that's its strongest point. So this mm -hmm. could definitely be like an A24 film. I, I like yes. to say that a lot lately with these kinds of slow burn atmospheric films, but that's the kind of films they typically put out mm -hmm. outside of what now looks like this Bodies, Bodies, Bodies movie, which looks so different yeah, than anything they've ever put out in the past. Um, wasn't, wasn't X put out by them too? Or am I fucking completely crazy on that? Because if it was, if I'm, it, it was. was. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I was going to say. Because that's fairly different for them as well. Sure. Um, so they're kind of expanding their horizons a little bit. But yeah, I mean, I don't know what film I would really liken this to. Um, I, I could see like the dark and the wicked, yeah, that's stuff what like I was that, say. right? Mm -hmm. um, it's just got that kind of dreary, foggy, like you feel like you get lost if you walked 20 feet in one direction, yeah, anywhere you, you are in the you, movie. You feel like you're actually in the bog. Sure. While you're watching the film. And you're not just in the bog, right? You're in, you're in a family homestead. Sure, yeah. You're in a dig location. You're yeah. in the town. A bar. And there's a really cool town in this. I'm assuming that they, you know, filmed like in an actual town and they got like a, like a kind of a parade. And so there's some, some decent like money and, and production value behind this movie for sure. Yeah. Because it's not like super small scale where there's only like two actors and, and this and that. There's some CGI. There's, you know, a lot of extras in this in this town where they have this huge city like parade on the street and so it was a bigger movie than I was expecting for sure. Mm -hmm. Um and it really just added to the even though more people makes it feel smaller, it did. Like it felt like a genuine small town mm -hmm. that kind of everyone knew everyone and that kind of feel. And there's this outsider because the main girl in this, um, she's lived here her whole life. And we find out in the very beginning of the movie that she suffered some kind of a trauma, but we don't really know what that is. Um, and, you know, of course, revealed later in the film. But then we flash forward 30 years or 30, whatever the hell they said. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because this film is half in Dutch and half in English. Yes. Because it's from the Netherlands. Um, so it was kind of 50-50. Yeah, I really, evenly. I really liked the blending of languages. And I think that that's kind of what made it feel like it was such a small community. Because, you know, all of the locals are speaking that uh, the native language. But then when the, um, you know, like detectives and other people show up, they're speaking English. And our uh, protagonist, Beatrix, however you say her mm -hmm. name, said she speaks both it's cool that she's able to kind of bridge obviously sure. both sides but i think this movie it's like a really great folk horror 
with um, like family drama underlying it. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of really cool subtle moments too throughout like the opening, uh, like the first half of the film, like really like, you know, it's kind of like what we were talking about with Uma when we watched that, sure. where it's sort of things are happening in the background and there's a few jump scares that like genuinely got me too as well. And just so. a reminder, we didn't like Uma. No, we, well, <laughs> but we, we, we liked get, the first we liked like 20, what Uma 30 could have minutes. Been, yeah. But this movie I think is infinitely better and it actually yes. does what I think Uma was trying to go for in terms of like mother daughter relationships. Sure. Even and a payoff that yes, fully works. Much more, um, successfully than Uma did. So this film and you know, with the, the folklore that they are dealing with, I love it. I, you know, we're trying to do this kind of spoiler free, obviously. Mm -hmm. So I won't say what that is, but it's something that we both really like seeing. And I especially like seeing when it comes to, uh, the women's issues <laughs> and yeah. So, yeah. I mean, this film is very subtle. Um, you don't see much, right? You're, there's no graphic violence. There's no gore. There's barely any blood. There's, you know, this is more left for the imagination. That said, there are a couple of shots of what all of this is um, that I thought were really effective. The CGI is fine. I liked it. I. <laughs> I didn't I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it by any means. I thought it was good. It kind of reminded me of like Mama or yeah, something. Yeah, it did. And, and I was just like For me, I think it Yeah. Like it's not something that's like in like insanely outstanding, but because I really love the story and the yeah. atmosphere and everything else that the CGI did not detract from it and it enhanced it. Like, all those sure. other elements kind of help to boost it. But definitely, like, a mama-esque style, for sure. I mean, I feel that same way about, like, Terrified, right? Like, oh my there's, God, some, terrified. there's some pretty shoddy CGI in that. I, but I don't even I remember don't it. I don't give a fuck. That movie's real. Those are real <laughs> demons with, like, CGI. What are you talking about? Yeah. All of that's 100%. There's, there's some shoddy CGI in Terrified, but you're so so invested you're so engaged in the movie you just don't care so for this one I, yeah i mean i think if you're into really slow atmospheric family dramatic like centric small town almost like a foggy london town uh kind of feel uh i know it's not in london i don't need to be <laughs> corrected it's in the netherlands um but it's very european feeling, yeah for sure yeah. And but it just has that part, feel yeah. to it. It's and great. the dig site, they find these bodies there, and those are super cool looking. Yes. And I really liked the acting from mm -hmm. everybody. Um, Me too. I liked the relationships. I liked kind of like relationships that were not fully explored, but were only there to serve as character development to mm -hmm. show us where people kind of were mentally and emotionally. And I think that really paid off in the end because the end is great. And, um, you know, you can kind of expect it coming to a degree, uh, especially in the very, very end. I was like, oh, this is going to happen, you know, to some de extent. And of course it was true, but it didn't matter because it's, it was very successful in what it was doing. So, um, yeah, this, this is a very cool one. Very and cool. I think will be crazy overlooked throughout the year. Yes. I don't think many people are going to watch this, and that'll be a shame. But uh, we recommend the hell out of it. But yes. you've just got to be into those kinds of films. Um, like The Lodge or, you know, that... Mm. You know what we're saying. Mm. So, it's on Shudder. We watch, like, every fucking Shudder movie or we try to. I know I'm always on here promoting them. They're gonna pay me one day. <laughs> one of these days. They could at least give me. They could at least give me my fucking subscription for free. You would think. That would be. I mean, fuck. Nice. How many movies have I promoted for you guys now? I'm talking <laughs> to you, Shutter. I'm talking to you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, anyways, moving on. Bye. Bye.